Yo, what's up guys? Um, today we're gonna react to a band that I um, stopped following a bit for a long while um, because of course they changed sound a lot. Um, I'm talking about Opeth from Sweden. Um, I love their earlier albums up to, until Ghost Reveries, I think, that era a bit. And, and after that they went way more proggy. Uh, uh, drop all the, the harsh vocals and you know, more into the 70s prog. Not that I have a problem with that kind of music, but with Opeth, I I grew in that sound they had with that contrast of the heaviness and the progginess and softer parts. He did, always had that great combination of growls, heavy metal parts, you know, heavy death metal parts. With, a lot of progressiveness to uh, the, the softer and part with clean vocals. Um, that's what I always loved about this band, and they changed sound sound so much. And uh, yeah, I lost interest in the band. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, recently, they dropped a new single called S One. I think it's called S One. It's like a S as the. Uh, through each other, kind of bit that what that's a uh, kind of symbol. Uh, there's cover an upcoming album, The Last Will and Testament, which will be out in October. Um, I'm kind of curious, I heard some positive uh, things about it from people on the internet, so I'm curious what, what they have done. Uh, I like the, the album cover, I can see the album cover right here. I like it, uh, the cover, and by now it's time to hear the music. And um, hopefully it's a bit more back to their older sound. That would be fantastic because I love their older sound. So um, yeah, let's dive into this and see what they made of it because this could be interesting. And I uh, thought let's share this with you guys. Um, so new Opeth song, it's a shortened version. The album version will be probably a couple of minutes longer, Opeth knowing uh, the band that uh, they always extend their songs pretty long, lengthy. So uh, let's let's see, this is about four, almost five minutes. Um, so let's go here with one, two, Opeth. Definitely probably. Nice building up so far. They're really starting to. It's definitely more metal.
Well, that was an interesting trip. Um, where do I start? Well, the crawling is back. Um, that makes me really happy, man. That, uh, that's not, it's not a per I not specifically need growling, but it was a specific, uh, specific part in their older material, so I'm glad that it's back. It makes the song heavier together with the metal parts that came in there. Uh, there's a lot of prog going on, definitely. It's kind of, it feels like an, a, a mystic version of um, a mixture of their old and new material, let's put it that way. The, the really proggy mo modern stuff, which is actually pretty old school prog, um, and the, the, the more metal stuff. So that's really interesting. Um, of course, they always were proggy, but um, this song is really proggy, I have to say. Uh, I, w I wonder why they choose this as a single as well. It's not uh, like that accessible song to, to listen to. There's a lot of layering going on with the organ and guitar parts. It led off um, in constant rhythms, um, different kind of vocals, high and low, and the growling. Uh, it's definitely not an easy song to get into. It's not, it's not a typical MTV song. Let's put it that way. And um, it's an interesting choice. And I wonder how the full-length version of the song would sound, um, because it's a radio edit. They call it like that themselves. So um, I'm interested where this all. Um, goes into because this is an interesting um i wouldn't say it's return to form but it is definitely uh, a thing that that piques my interest and um i wonder how, how the whole album sounds now uh, it definitely got me uh interested into checking that album out so if it's as const constant as this song I think I will enjoy this album actually. Um, it's been a lot of albums ago that I listened to this band, and most of the time when I listen to the band, I grab albums like um, Deliverance or um, the Blackwater Park or uh, Morning Rise or albums like that. I mostly turn to those kind of albums. Um, so. Yeah, it's interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts, guys? I I can understand you are surprised by seeing the band go back a bit to the roots, not completely, but it's a really interesting choice. And um, of course, the topic uh, um, with the band singing about, I think this is kind of a concept album. I think I read here about um, um, family members that uh, go against each other of, of over the inheritance of someone who is passed, kind of that idea. Um, so I'm interesting how that all falls out, and um, yeah, this could be an interesting album this year. It's an interesting proc album. Um, yeah, I think I, I I will check this out. This is this this. Might be an interesting album. Um, yeah, I'm kind of repeating myself, so um, I think it's time for you guys to respond here. And um, I like, like I said, I like the proggy direction combined with the old stuff, and they definitely nailed it here. So, what are your thoughts? Um, visualize there was not much going on because it's not an official video. Uh, although it's official audio, but not a video clip, let's put it that way. Um, so what are your thoughts, guys? Do you like the sound, or do you like the prog sound better, or the way old sounds? Let me know in the comment section down below. I, th I think this could be an interesting discussion. Um, so, your thoughts? I'm looking forward to a new album. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, short video, but I just... This is all I have to say about it. So, um, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the track. And see you guys in the next video.